as much as 95% of the entire world population do struggle with procrastination. So the question is, is there a way to finally beat procrastination? And the answer is yes. You know, I once told a group of friends that if you keep negotiating with your distractions, you will never be consistent in life. And that's a fact. So today, I'll be sharing with you 14 tips which I've learned over the past 8 to 10 years that finally helped me put procrastination behind me. So you want to stick through to the end of this video. Now hang out with people who inspire you to take action. There were some persons in my class and senior colleagues that always inspired me. I'll try to talk with this person at least once in a week. For some of them, just seeing them from afar, that gives me this surge of energy. I don't even have to speak with them. So my prayer sometimes when I'm going out in the day is like, okay, let me just see this person, either in class or on the way while walking to school, just seeing them comes with this energy. Now that talks about the energy people carry and the light they carry. And I was very delighted as I was getting towards the end of medical school when junior colleagues would tell me, you know, sometimes just seeing you reminds me that I can do it. I should chase my goals. I'm inspired all over again. And it's really something to live for. So you hang around people like that, talk with them, get inspired, get motivated again. Don't hang around people that will speak fear, timidity into you, or even talk down on your motivation because there are persons are in medical school you will find like that you know i don't want to say a lot of slangs and you know things that are commonly said but the baseline is hang around people that inspire you and motivate you to take action if you look into your class you would find persons like that who it seems as though they carry this energy even though you may not be able to be their friends friends per se at least just hang around them sincerely maybe sometimes you even ask them questions how do they do it you know and all of that and just like scripture says iron sharpens iron and a man sharpens the countenance of his friend so sometimes you need your own countenance to be sharpened and you have to hang around people with that kind of energy now get an accountability partner i had an accountability partner from year four in medical school and she was an accountability partner till final year even sometimes now we still just get to talk and just about life goals you know and all of that so an accountability partner is essential so what this does for you is every saturday you kind of review your goals it's very interesting if both of you have similar goals works you know best and fine now i have to point out that this is someone you should be able to trust you should be able to feel safe with i wasn't going to be comfortable doing that with anybody with just any random person coming to be like okay this is my plan for the session i want to get distinctions i want to be best in this you know and all of that i would have to state it because she's going to if you know if the goals come, it's going to be like ah you know nice congratulations or even the test scores the goals i had for everything there was complete transparency so this really has to be someone you can be vulnerable with someone that you can trust and likewise the reverse is the case you have to be someone this other party can trust and even when you don't smash your goals or when you don't meet up with the reading targets or plans you have for the month for the week you know the person can give you counsel and whatever other measures you've put in place to just keep a check on you guys within that space you do it sometimes there was a period in final year it was really difficult to stay on track and you know i had this from where we're like five someone from year two year three year four year five and myself we just came together had an accountability circle online and what that did for me that period was i was having issues typically i'll go out you know for ninth class to study and i had not gone in months so i was having issues actually just starting the cycle again and you know that helped me just kick started for three weeks i became consistent and before you know i got my habit back on track so that's something accountability can do for you you have to be transparent to this person it has to be somebody that you can trust so get an accountability body get a motivation body some people put what will tag as i don't know if it be disciplinary actions now or punishment but not really the idea is just okay if you don't meet up with your goals you're going to buy me this you're going to get us this we're going to go out and build on you you know and that can be fun at times yeah if you feel you want to opt for that it's also good and fine but an accountability partner will definitely be of help to you now start your day with the hardest task now this is personal for me but the, the point is the most productive period of your day puts the most difficult tasks there every time i had to prepare for exam if it was a system let's say in year four i think pharmacology was more mentally demanding to study so i tend to do that do pharmacology during the day after i wake up the first couple of hours because it required more mental focus mental strength for me and this was the system i patterned my studying 
after all through medical school even to the final year where we had to apply clinical knowledge there were times to do passive reading but there were instances where i have to use information and actually apply it to clinical scenarios you know interpret data and all of that i'll put all of those things in the early hours of the morning when i'm still very fresh after breakfast you know the vigor and everything is there and i'll leave the passive stuff to later in the day because i noticed that if i try to do the very difficult task when i am fagged out and worn out it's difficult so i'll have to push it to maybe later another time or i'll have to sleep and then wake up you know when i feel refreshed and all of that so i just took the decision cutting across boards i identified what i would tag as the difficult task or the difficult courses the difficult concepts and i'll tend to bring those things first in the session in the semester get them out of the way sort of in terms of understanding what's happening there and then the others can come afterwards so it's something i'll recommend for you try and get the very difficult things done first daily before you opt for the less difficult task now yes you have to get a grip and just do it the issue i have sometimes when you know i interact with persons and they are like i'm trying to get on track i'm trying to be consistent and you know you give advice one gives counsel share wisdom share insights experiences and all and they end up not taking action it can be very painful it can be very sad to be frank and to be honest because you can do all the planning you can do all the strategizing if you do not act nothing absolutely nothing will move so take action take action let's talk in you know you've gotten counsel you've gotten advice it's time to act like we said do not negotiate with your distractions identify your procrastination pit stops get them out of the way and begin to act until you have that consistency as a habit do not stop do not stop action action is very key if you accomplish your goals you get all of those things that you desire to get done action is key action is key so remember everything that we've talked about you know it's for things to be perfect your environment identifying procrastination pit stops and all of them you can listen to this video over and over again for it to sink in really well but the bottom line at the end of the day is you got to act you got to act you got to act it's very very important i'm laying emphasis on that again so yes that's it for dealing with procrastination there'll be a part two of this video at a later point in time but for now you can make do with what you've heard put it into practice and if you enjoyed watching this, don't forget to like, share with medical students that you know across the country, across the continent, wherever they may be in the world. These are things that, in the world, these are things that they would find very useful to them. If you're new here and you've not hit the subscribe button, now is a very, very good time to hit the subscribe button. I'll be seeing you again on Sunday next week by 12 p.m. You're welcome to becoming a doctor. My name is Dr. Gospel, the medical coach. I'll be seeing you. Thank you very much.